G'day! My name's Nathan Linzel, and welcome to episode number 66 of The Fine Art of Distraction. So, on today's episode, it's actually really exciting, because I'm actually part of Nate Bright's Patreon group called Nate's Art Lab, and he's actually set forward a really exciting challenge this month. This month's challenge is a sunflower swipe! Yoo -hoo 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 -hoo. Now, I've seen Nate do his, and his are awesome, so I'm actually really excited to give it a go myself. So, Nate, thank you so, so, so much for setting forward this challenge. You rock! You! <laughs> now, I only have a very, very short window of opportunity to have a, have a little bit of a chat, hence why I'm talking so fast. <laughs> so, let's quickly head over to the table, and I'll show you what products I'm going to be using, and then, yeah, let's get into it! Thanks, guys! Alrighty then, so here's all the products we're going to be using today, and because I've only got a very very short window of opportunity to have a bit of a chat, I'll just say what products I'm going to be using, and then in the description box I'll actually list all the ratios and all that sort of jazz. So the acrylic paints that I'm going to be using are from Montmart, and we've got Titanium White and Cerulean Blue! <laughs> The pigments that I'm going to be using today are from Health of Mind Art, and we've got Toilet Brown, Deep Red, and Sunflower Yellow. How appropriate, right? <laughs> now the pigments have been mixed with Liquitex Gloss Heavy Gel, and also Australian Flow Troll. And the acrylic paints from Montmartre have been mixed just with Aussie Flow Troll. I've also got some dotting tools here from the Happy Dotting Company to basically do some embellishments at the end. And I've got my um, blowtorch here in case I get any um, air bubbles. Alright guys, now that I've shown you what products I'm going to be using, let's head over to the other table and then yeah, let's get into it. Thanks guys. Alrighty, so we're back and we've got our paints mixed and ready to rock and roll. And basically what I'm going to do to start with, I'm going to use an old drum skin that I had lying around um, to basically do the outline of the core of the sunflower. Once I've got that outline down, then I can actually fill it in by filling it in with the chocolate brown. Then I'm going to put like the ring of deep red around it, followed by the sunflower yellow. How convenient. <laughs> Followed by white, believe it or not. And we actually need that white there for a reason before we put the cerulean blue down. Sorry, every time I say cerulean blue, I feel like it needs like an, an oomph. Cerulean blue! <laughs> the reason why we actually put the white down um, first before the blue is because we need that barrier between the yellow and the blue because yellow and blue make green. And if I swipe over the top of blue without that barrier, that yellow is just going to turn to green. And we don't really want a green sunflower. <laughs> I've also got some little um, swiping tabs just here. So I've got some large, some medium, some small, and then some little bitty baby ones. <laughs> and... We're actually um, painting on a 20 by 30 inch um, gallery wrapped um, El Rado Di Polo canvas. <laughs> Sorry, everyone loves how I say El Rado Di Polo. <laughs> Alright guys, now let's get into it. Wish me luck. You. Thanks guys. Alrighty, so now I'm going to put uh, a ring of, or half ring of, um, the deep red down. Now the sunflower yellow. Now we're putting the white down. And 
And now for the Cerulean Blue! <laughs> So now that we've got the um, all the colours down, now we can actually start swiping. But I might actually just hit it with a blowtorch first, just to get rid of any possible air bubbles. Actually, before we go on any further, I just want to make sure I get all the edges. Alrighty, now I'm going to leave it this way because I, f I think it's going to be easier to swipe it coming towards me rather than swiping it sort of towards the camera. So lucky for you guys, it's going to be in the right direction for you. <laughs> Alrighty, so wish me luck because I'm actually pretty nervous about this one. So yoo! <laughs> so 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 much for um setting forward this challenge 
I had so much fun! <laughs> the only thing that I'm sort of disappointed is with these bits up the top here. But I'm just thinking what I might be able to do. So what I'm actually doing here is I'm actually putting some of the blue down over the parts that I'm not too happy with. And I'm using my mini blower to blow it out to sort of make it a little bit softer. And as I'm blowing it out, I start thinking, hmm, if I added some white in this part, it actually would look like clouds. So I start adding white and by golly gosh, it looks like clouds. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this turned out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just doing a quick little voiceover here because it's at this point that I actually start thinking, hmm, the centre, I could actually do some embellishments on there um, because the, the core of a sunflower actually has little sort of bud-like sort of dots. So I figured, hey, I might do some embellishments. Alrighty, so it's actually the next day and... The center of this sunflower is actually dry enough for me to actually do some embellishments. Now, if you look at the center of a sunflower, the core of it actually has what's called a Fibonacci pattern, where sort of it starts at a smaller point and sort of works its way out, works its way out and out and out and out. So that's what I've decided to do. Because I'm actually loving um, doing um, dot mandala sort of work at the moment, I figured I might as well do um, an embellishment using my dotting tools and actually doing a Fibonacci pattern on here. Now, I was going to do a different shade of brown on top, but then I thought... It might blend in too much and you might not be able to see it. And I just so happen to have some gold um, still made up. So I might do um, the Fibonacci dots in gold. And I think it'll look pretty cool with the, with the sort of the brown core um, outlining the gold dots. I think that'll be cool. All right, guys. So wish me luck. You. Pencil's not showing up, so I'm just gonna have to wing it and go with um, no grid at all.
I did start to go off um, the pattern pretty early in and it just goes to show how helpful a, an actual grid is when you're actually doing um, a mandala. But um, I'll tell you what, I think I recovered pretty well. Um, at the halfway point, I sort of just done a complete loop of, of the one size and then that sort of brought it back into um the pattern but i'll tell you what i'm super happy with it Yay! <laughs> you. Alrighty, guys i just want to take this opportunity to say thank you all so 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 much for joining me in this episode i'll tell you what i had so much fun with this you <laughs> And a special thanks goes to Nate Bright um, for sort of setting forward this challenge in Nate's art lab. Um, never in a million years would I've ever done a sunflower swipe. And I'll tell you what, I'm so glad I did because I love this thing. You! <laughs> if you guys like what you saw here today, please give us a thumbs up. I'd love to see lots of thumbs ups for this one. And if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like subscribing to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button, then hit the little dark bell. That'll actually indicate when I upload new videos. And if you think any of your friends or family might like to see how I created this awesome sunflower, please forward it on to them. I'd love for them to have a look at it as well. All right, guys, one more time. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me on this episode. And this is the fine art of distraction. <laughs>